Well, this year will mark 20 years since the 9-11 attacks, and over the years, a national foundation has been giving back to local children of first responders who died on that tragic day. News 12's John A. Caldwell has more on how the First Responders Children's Foundation is helping families. Staring out at the Manhattan skyline where the Twin Towers once stood tall. 19-year-old Thomas Caputo is thinking of his loved ones either lost or impacted by the 9-11 attacks. On September 11th, I lost both my grandfather and my uncle. Both his grandfather, Thomas DeAngelis, and Uncle Edward Garrity served in the FDNY at Brooklyn precincts, but were in the South Tower of the World Trade Center when it collapsed. Thomas is now being awarded a $10,000 scholarship from the first responders children's foundation for his family's heroism. It was a little bit of a surprise. I remember I was at school and um, my mom called me like all excited. The scholarship really allowed me to attend Villanova University without having to take out um, more loans than I really wanted to. These are the real heroes. They run into danger every day. We are here to help their families. The foundation gives financial support to children of first responders who died or have been impacted in the line of duty. For Thomas, who was one of more than 200 recipients nationwide, he'll be using the scholarship to work towards a career in nursing, hoping to follow in his family's footsteps of helping others. I thought that just by entering the medical field and being um, a doctor or a nurse, knowing that I was able to help someone, I thought up to my grandfather's and uncle's you know, expectations. Jeanne Caldwell, News 12. Great.